I do a lot of like business work in like Google Calendar, and you would think Google would be like on their shit, but if you set your location to Phoenix, um, it just it just like <laughs> it, it does not change with you. So like half the year, I need to go through and like change my time to like LA. Dude, the, the <laughs> I've been to Arizona one time. Oh yeah, Look, years ago, I have family out there. I felt family in uh, Gilbert, I think. <clears throat> yeah, that's in like the greater Phoenix area. Yeah. Um, but I've been to Phoenix. Like I had family in Phoenix. And I, I the only family that lives there now is Gilbert. And I actually, for a long time, I wanted to move there because I thought I was going to go to school there. Um, oh, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, and then I heard it was a big party school, and that's not. <laughs> I'm not at home thing. recording a podcast on Discord, so clearly that's not kind of my. That's not my vibe. But hey, there's some fun party spots out here. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. Dude, I had a I had a friend in high school who. Her whole plan after uh, high school was to, like, get fucked up and have sex after, like, in college and, like, party in college. And I was I, I was so blown away. I, I was like, people actually, like, want, like, I, I was like, Jersey Shore, you know. Yeah. Like, I'm like, that is like a, like, a, like not real. That is not rea- realistic at all. I you mean, have to have a certain level of stamina to keep up, like, partying like that. I am. Um... You know, I try because there's like a certain level of my life where it's like I want that for myself. But like and I am that yeah. sometimes. But then yeah. sometimes I have like a lot of like anxieties and whatnot that prevent me prevent me from from being that person. Yeah. And so it's like a, there is kind of a disconnect there. I can only do it like once a week, like once or twice a week, if anything. Yeah. But I know people that just that's their life. No, and I know. Um, it, 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 it sounds fun on paper, but I as young as I am, I'm too, like, I don't want to say I'm too old for that because I'm really not. But like yeah. my body feels that way. How old are you? <laughs> I don't know. 25? Uh, I'm, I'm 23. 23. Um, about to be 24. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm 26 and I'm, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I have, I've done a few like, you know, you know, the, 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 the specific like high school, like bar club things that they do specifically for young kids so they can kind of experience that vibe yeah. i did a, like two or three of those in high school and i was like this shit sucks i mean i was well, that's, that's like a pretty lame it, it was horrible party it was party horrible everybody so it was like 18 too. it was like 18 plus events where like uh it's 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 either like chaperoned by like a school or it's more of like you can maybe smoke a cigarette but like there's no drinks like i'm not <laughs> yeah. saying you need a drink to have a good time in those places but like it, when no one is like it's kind of a it's kind of a, a mood yeah, killer. Yeah, dude, I, the, the, I mean, everybody stunk like shit there because the high schoolers, you know, that you start, you know, you don't know what deodorant knows until you're like, what, yeah. 15, 14, 15. Yeah, the back in the era of like everyone just showering and axe body spray. Right, exactly. Dude, I got to tell you a story. You want to hear a funny story? Holy shit. That, yeah. that is such a is good. This, is this the start of the show? Is, He's waiting on this dude. Oh, yeah. At this point, I don't give a shit. He I don't think he cares either. <laughs> um, dude, check this out. Great story. I, I love it. I, I started, I, I had the idea for a podcast and I wanted Sean to be my co-host originally, but I'm like, he already knows everything. Like the, the, telling a story, he'd be like, oh, you already told me that. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. why I was like, it's perfect. That, okay. So years and years ago, I used to go to this, like, it was like a little, uh, I don't know. You could consider it a show, I guess. It was like a, a little indie band would play on stage. It was a bunch of like people, high schoolish age that would hang out there. And I do I was obviously single, clearly. Um, and <laughs> I thought it it would be I thought it was gonna be like getting like getting girls, you know, as a stupid, you know, fifteen year old, whatever, like twenty fifteen year old. You have an image of in your mind of who you want to be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh no cap, no joke, straight no up, straight up sprayed axe body sprayed right on my asshole so I made sure I didn't smell. That shit burned like I just like like a like a searing hot it is apparently very acidic, and your asshole is apparently very, very sensitive. Sensitive. Fun uh, fact. Yeah. Fun fact. Yeah. So I sprayed it on my ass, and I, I didn't go. I was like, it, it. I hurt myself. I actually hurt myself. Did you? Did you like uh, know anyone there? And you, you were very genuine about your excuses. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't show up. I, I hurt <laughs> my, my ass. Off. Yeah. No, I, 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 I didn't know anybody. I wasn't going with anybody. That would have been funnier if I was, but no, I wasn't going in with anybody. I, yeah, um, you tend to not have a sense of humor at a young age in those moments of of humility, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly, right. Yeah, 
We started yeah, like f- uh, a few five minutes ago, oh, and we, you were fine. gone, so I thought it would just be funnier if you like came in, you know, five minutes in, and it was just completely unexplained. Should I go back out? Should I come back in? Yes. Yeah. Wait for the yeah for for the for the no. Um. So no 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 no. This is all part of it. No, you need to get out and then come back again. <laughs> all right. Here it goes. Okay. This is uncut, by the way. So he. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, you'll notice when Sean sits back down, he only has one shirt in his existence ever. Like he's it's the only shirt that he ever wears. It's like a cartoon character. Yeah. Where they just do it for continuity sake. Yeah. Literally, it's almost yeah. exactly like that. It's a fucking cat uh, lifting weight. I'm thinking if I tie it like this. Just hang, and I yeah, just, just like swing it yeah, in and out of the yeah, yeah, there he goes. He's he's farting, he's pooping. You guys hear my dog? Um, so back to my asshole. I was just telling Zach the story about how uh, I sprayed uh, Axe body spray in my asshole before that like little thing. I'm sure I've told you that story before. Yeah, I've done some similar stuff. Like I didn't want to shower and I was gonna go on a date with Haley, so I took um uh, Irish Spring deodorant, put it in my underwear, and I just it was the most awful idea. Did it hurt? Uh, it like itched for days. It itched. I don't know about for days. Really? Yeah. You guys are very cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you I mean, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do the deodorant like up here or like somewhere else, but not, no, no, sorry, no sensitive. No sensitive tissues. Dude, yeah, well, did, did you know that stuff absorbs in the testicles like 40% faster because it's thinner skin and there's like a bunch of blood vessels around there? That makes sense. It's probably a good place to inject heroin. Dude, yeah. that is, that's a good thought. You know what's funny? Yesterday, I, I, you know how when you're in the shower and it's a hot shower and your balls are all stretchy? I, I just realized I can make like a cup in my balls and drop the water. That shit is fun as hell. I just <laughs> went like, like that and I just dropped the water and it went like all the way up to here. And I just was able to like, just, you know, my, all that. I meant to uh, ask you before, Zach, have you been watching the Halo show? No, I have not. Um, there's, there's, there's a few different reasons why I have not. Number one, I hear it kind of blows, which is not a good selling point when you hear everyone in the like Halo community saying that it, it blows. Yeah. It um, blows. Yeah, Master Chief is not a virgin. I got the funniest notification Dude. on my phone. I got because I have a Google phone, and I don't know if other like if an Apple, uh, f- if like an iPhone does this, but like it's synced up to like give me news updates for stuff at once. It thinks I want to hear about, and I just got a. I think it was Polygon, but maybe I'm getting the publication wrong. I just got a notification on my phone like a day or two ago, and it just said. Master Chief just had sex, yep. and that was yep. it. That yep. was like, which I know was yep. a thing, but it was the funny, and I knew it already happened before. But it was the funniest thing for me to be like cooking a whatever, and I just get my phone pops <laughs> up. And like, I like the idea of like, remember when Donald Trump did the tested out the like presidential alert yeah, system, yep. and like everyone got a yep. notification. Like I like the yeah. idea. I like the idea that like several years ago, an app similar to that was set up where every American gets notified when Master Chief has sex. And he's just now <laughs> like it just now happened. And uh, and we all got the alert. Um, but no, also another issue with uh, the Halo TV show is that it's on Paramount Plus. Mm-hmm. And I have zero intention yeah. of creating a login for Paramount Plus. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> what's funny about that? OK, so there's a few points that I want to hit there. So the reason that we do this late our time, so it's 10.30 for us, is we watch, we have a whole party, we had a party of seven people watching the Halo show. We do it every week because it's trash. We didn't, we, first week okay. we thought it was going to be good. Well, make, making fun of TV shows is like the only way you can get me to watch a TV show right. at this no. point anyways. Yeah, so. it's, so it's, it's, it's hilariously bad and it's like a kind of kind of like a community thing where, where we all hang out and just shit on the show. Dude, today they rev- like they had the <laughs> sex scene, but it wasn't like, it was obviously really you know, wasn't really much. Didn't of Cortana scene. get cucked? Dude, Cortana watched. <laughs> she watched. She's like sad. Dude, <laughs> she, was, she was literally it was, sad. It was so interesting. I was like, why would you even include her? Like, obviously, she needs to know about it to some degree for like the plot point. But why would you? Why would no, they're, she's just they're like watching, watching the heart, the heartbeat stuff yeah. too? Like, oh, their yeah. bio signs are, are synced, and it's they're like just, I don't need to. They're just watching but. Chief clap cheeks, dude. It's fucking insane. And so. Yeah, well, that's show. gotta be funny though. He's because he's probably never done it. Well, he's like Cort- Cortana, that would be yeah. hilarious. I think I would actually pay money to watch the scene of like a version master chief <laughs> struggle to like figure out how sex works. That it's, sounds he's like nervous. It's literally a scene. It's literally a scene. He oh, like shit. doesn't get okay. it. He doesn't get it. He's like, what do I do? And she kind of like takes the lead. But um, 
My, but the idea, the Master Chief throughout all of Halo picks up on skills like that. Yeah. He's the master of everything, and then it gets to women, yeah. and he's just, yeah. like, does not compute. He's clueless. Yeah. Um, no, our buddy Brian, our buddy Brian, he just kept saying, um, apparently, and apparently this is true to, like, the, 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 the you know, main Halo lore, is that uh, the jerk, the suit will jerk you off, so you don't have that, like, I think, like, the sexual canon. stuff. Yeah. And Brian, okay. my, he kept saying, he was like, the, 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 the suit jerks him off, the suit jerks him off, he shouldn't be horny. Someone had to pitch this in the writer's room, by the way. And just, they were like, how does, the, how does this work? And then someone had to go, what if the suit, which we've all thought of before, I guess, yeah. but like a writer had to pitch that to yeah. a room full yeah. of other adults. And then it had to go to like business executives and they all had to sign off on like the, yeah, the suit jerks him off. Right. <laughs> I'm just fucking clueless. I don't understand. I don't understand. So, um, yeah. So <laughs> dog's working again. So, um, yeah, so we watched the episode. It was fucking hilarious, by the way. It just It's just funny every week. We all just, like, are just cracking up at it. And I think that, like, Buddy Evan, who you'll probably end up meeting, um, he, I think he, like, actually, t- kind of, we want to take it kind of seriously because he wants to get the, the story, at least, even though that it's kind of, like, a trash. He wants to get the story and stuff. But we're all just shitting on it relentlessly the entire time, dude. It is such a good time. It is so fun. Um, yeah, but it's bad. It's yeah, bad. I think... Um you know, a, l- a large part of why I probably wouldn't like it too is because I'm a long standing like Halo fan. Yeah, yeah. And I think the writers of the show were pretty vocal about like not even playing the games and not really yep, giving a shit about the, the story of Halo. And so I could imagine for someone like if my dad watched it, he he might like it because it's just a genuine, yeah. sorry, a genuinely good show like on its own. I don't know that it could be objectively horrible as well. Um, but like, you know, I don't think it would even get a fair shake in my mind, too, because, like, I know what Halo is supposed to be, and it's almost certainly not that. <laughs> and so, right. you know, you're picking your mind, you're picking out, like, I don't want to be the guy like, oh, but you had to read the books. Not that I read the Halo yeah, books, yeah, but, yeah. like, I don't want to be that guy for yeah. the Halo show either. Um, although, the, 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 what was the thing? Didn't have, like, a Chevy Tahoe in there or something yeah, that they tried to justify? Apparently, it, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember seeing it in the actual episode, but apparently that would... There was some like yeah, I think they removed it because the justification was garbage. Yeah, the justification like, oh, was yeah, real well, trash. Th- it was in the trailer, and then people caught. Yeah, there's a Chevy Tahoe in the trailer, and then there was a news article I saw that got public published, being like, actually, there's a purpose for the Chevy Tahoe yeah, and Halo. Yeah, and exactly. everyone was like, what the fuck is the purpose yeah. for the Chevy Tahoe yeah, and Halo? Yeah, I don't think I don't think it was like a. I, I think I think yeah. it might have been removed because I don't remember seeing it at all, but. Um, oh, but that that first episode was great because they literally kill a bunch of civilians yeah. and then just like mission accomplished and walk yeah. away. Yeah, the first like the episode, Avengers. like it it was it was good and bad. Like it was like okay, this could be like a weird dark turn on Halo because literally first five minutes you see these these kids from this planet disembodied, like pfft, like completely <laughs> destroyed, and they're like, oh, that's cool and dark, and then it kind of just ends up sucking. But um. The thing, the thing, I had an issue with the two because I, I was like, I don't know if I want to watch after episode one. Um, but <laughs> I, I was able to suspend Master Chief from this fucking guy that's just clapping chic. I, I was able to make that separation, and as soon as you do that, it's fine. Totally fine. Yeah, I think um, I was very upset by like the voice is <clears throat> like a big thing. Right. We're like, we all know Master oh Chief's God, voice yeah. is like yeah. kind of the defining, like yep. the only thing that really makes him him and so to have a different voice be master chief is kind of not great but it might end up helping in the long term because you can more easily separate the show yes, chief yeah. from the game chief because they just sound completely different yeah. um i don't know like, if that's true that's me talking out of my you know what but yeah still they also just show his face episode one which is interesting i mean that's what i feel like that's like you'd want to kind of lead up to that kind of like the game does you know what i mean but no it was episode one he just whoop, took it off it was funny because yeah. you were joking like what if he took it off and there was just another one the thing is i feel like they, <laughs> yeah they like the glitch yeah yeah they kind of had to do that because that's how they would differentiate themselves from the game you know what i mean like yeah. like they kind of had to be like no no we're doing it differently he he takes his helmet off all the time people know what he looks like yeah they yeah. set the precedent early yeah it's like because like they had the chance in the very beginning where they're like uh most of the p- 
So they start with a bunch of like civilians slash uh, what's the what's the word um, regular people, but with bad guns. Nailed uh, it. Nailed it. Yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and they're like they were talking about oh you know I could fight off how many U.S. M- and, and Marines and stuff like that. He's on a streak. He's rebels. nailing it again. The rebels, right? That's what yeah, they're the, the rebels, the rebels. Resistance. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, and uh, but they're talking about how like oh, so most of them had not seen any Spartans, so they had the chance to to be like oh, Spartans are like this novelty thing that you'll you like you rarely ever see. But then it's like four Spartans drop in, they take their helmets off, everyone dies. Yeah, <laughs> and literally, like, literally. Um, yeah, it's a uh, it's a modern day work of art. My fucking things are writing up so high uh yeah it's a modern day work of art for sure um <laughs> you've been playing halo infinite though i saw oh yeah i've been playing it i have a pretty uh uh yeah i've been playing it <laughs> i've been playing halo infinite <laughs> you have a complicated relationship with the game i do have a very complicated relationship with halo infinite and uh my opinion of it compared to my friends is maybe a bit more positive than them but i certainly have uh, a ton of issues with the game oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm the, I'm the same way. I mean, obvi- obviously, I'm a massive Halo dude. Um, yeah. You're Master hey, Chief. Yeah, I am. I am actually the one from the show. <laughs> Master Chief. <laughs> um, but uh, Halo Infinite, I think that everything besides the gameplay is bad. That's my opinion. I think the gameplay That's itself fair. is great, and then and, 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 and like me- navigating menus. Like the shop, the, the menu system's horrible. Menu yeah. system's horrible. It's, it's um, all crap. Besides the, I mean, the gameplay. I know people are like desync, blah blah blah, and I'm like, yeah, okay, to a degree, I get that. Those are those are bugs that are fairly annoying. But to me, the gameplay loop, just of like big team battle, that's just fucking rad. That just that just plays. That's just fun. That's just like a, 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 a yeah. B- b- big team battle is not my main thing. Uh, big team battle certainly lacks a lot of content too. If you're a big oh, fan yeah. of it. it, has the least amount of maps, the oh, yeah. like worst game modes. Um, oh, yeah. But like, I do enjoy the gameplay of Halo Infinite a lot. The only issues I have with the gameplay really is, um, and maybe this is a bit nitpicky, but like player collision is an interesting thing where like, um, it, it sounds like a really nitpicky thing off the top. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, you don't get to jump on your friend's head yeah. and everything. But yeah. like, I do think that's a little bit important for Halo gameplay, is, but yeah. more importantly, it affects like the melee system, right? So when two mm-hmm. players are like walking mm-hmm. towards each other, it like, it's totally possible to assassinate someone from behind while facing them in the front mm-hmm. yeah. by walking through them yeah. and hitting like yeah. it just it just doesn't really quite make sense i think player collisions a big one um the plasma pistol is just Trash. not worth Un- your time unusable. it's yeah yeah um there's a couple other things but that's that's really only it i enjoy how the guns work and the movement system and the maps like, yeah they're all yeah. pretty good I, I i mean i feel the same way obviously people are like i i i, I have a uh a distaste for most like halo youtubers because they all are kind of just they're, very they're, apologetic yeah and they're the well the thing is is that they're clickbaity they're uh, bitchy hey, and they're you're good. you're good uh they're clickbaity they're apologetic and they're uh they're just i don't they just annoy the shit out of me dude they just annoy the shit out of me there's a there's a certain guy that always fucking just complains about the game and i'm like okay fair there are problems and I'm completely understanding of these problems, right? Some stuff is just unacceptable. Some stuff is Halo just unacceptable, Infinite. and yeah. I agree with that, right? But the, I can still hop on with the boys and ha- have an enjoyable time. And I feel like, I mean, maybe, maybe I'm the, I'm, a, I'm, I probably am the, um, the uh, minority in that, I guess, because the game's obviously the the player base is dropping off. But I just, I don't know, that shit pisses me off. I'm like, this, and like my brother, he's a competitive Halo Reach player. My younger brother, right? Whoa! Uh, don't mess with him. He, Play a siren really quick. Big, uh, <laughs> big, big name alert. Don't need a name drop yeah. like that. Um, he so he shits on Halo uh, Infinite. For, he just calls it a bad game, just like flat out. And he's, I mean, he's frankly, he's used to bungee. It's interesting because Halo Reach is like one of the most like divergent Halo games know, that exist. I know that's kind of what I. That's what I. That's what I was telling him. And he he was like, everybody that likes it now is gonna dislike it in a month. When the first game, when the like, beta dropped, when it like first came out, which ended up kind of happening, and then obviously over time, people are just starting to shit on it because of you know, the lack of content updates. But um, I still play it and enjoy it, and he'll walk into my room and just tell me to stop. <laughs> he'll walk it. He'll just walk into my room and be like, "Stop playing this. It's not good." And I'm like, 
I don't know what, what you want me to say. He's like, he, Get that. I, I used to know someone that like, and not to interrupt your story yeah, or a good. whole lot, but I, I, pl- I play Madden every now and then. And I'd like, I, I get, it's like the most recycled, like here, pay $60 and eat your pile of shit nerd, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like type of system, whatever. But I used to know someone that just would constantly like, just like every single time I would talk to them, give me a hard time and like berate me for still playing the game. I Let people know what they want to play. It's true. I mean, I'll shit on people for playing League of Legends every day of the week, but I'm I, I ain't going to nobody's door and knocking on and be like, "Stop fucking playing." Um, no, yeah, you play Pokemon your night. Yeah, and I well, <laughs> you yeah, I I I play so much fucking Pokemon. Adam will walk in my room and be like, "Why are you still playing this?" And I'll be and it'll be I mean, it'll be a different Pokemon game. Okay, but, but no, but but he, Adam plays fucking Cookie Clicker or whatever the yeah, fuck has, nine has, nine Tetra Deck yeah, Killian like, or whatever. He has a lot of cookies, cookies and Cookie Clicker. I'll tell you what. Um, <laughs> that you can make fun of. Yeah. Um, but he he made an argument that pissed me off about Halo, and it's because it's incorrect. He was like, the only people that are still playing are competitive players, and I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? No, that's just incorrect. No. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, he's like, because they, they play. If anything, long- it's the opposite. And that's what I said. Uh, he was like, it's just you know longevity, blah blah blah. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? How does that make any sense? And um, his his point was that like. Obviously, a competitive player is going to keep playing the game to get better at the game or whatever. Some some dumb argument like that. And I'm like, no, the casual player is going to enjoy it because it's going to be more more likely to be spaced out. You know what I mean? I haven't played Infinite in like a week in some change. I'm going to I might play it tomorrow. I, I you know, I, I'm still playing it, though. I'm so like and my first do my first battle pass isn't even done. I haven't even finished my first battle pass. I mean, I'm, I'm just taking. I'm just taking my time with it. I'm, I, I'm, I'm yeah, it's, still enjoying it. With 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 the lack of content and how far paced out they are, it's definitely one of those games. Like you get into playing for like a week to a month, and then fall off playing yeah. for yeah. another like two months, and then get back into it. It goes in cycles. Um, I could make this whole thing about Halo. I've I've talked at length at nauseum about mm-hmm. Halo and Halo Infinite like already. Um, it's just there's just a few things in it that again, just I don't I don't know why were done the way that they were done and I, it, it, it's really the main thing that was disappointing for me too is like you know i i suppose the split screen is whatever but the forge not being there at launch i get it's supposed to be a larger forge system but to me like my best my favorite memories in halo were always like community creations and then the biggest problem this game has is a lack of content and in the modern era of halo the three for three series of halo games they've never not a single one of them has launched with proper like capabilities of user created content which is what most halo fans i think like enjoy um yeah. and again i get that it's taking a long time but to me like if a halo game was done correctly and launched with a proper platform for user created content i don't think you would have this even if those problems exist i think they would be like what the opposite of multiplied divided by like yeah a hundred oh yeah. yeah yeah I mean the uh, as soon as the custom games browser came out for MCC I, that's all I was doing I don't I, yeah but then was, like everyone's forgotten about and not everyone's forgotten about MCC um, yeah but like the mainstream audience is yeah. now lost on yeah. that aspect that's, of the game yeah and it's unfortunate too because I think people played MCC as like a as like a um, like a gateway into infinite waiting for infinite to come out, expecting like this, in, like this massive content. And to a degree I did that. Too. I mean, I, I obviously I just like the games, you know, but uh, to a degree I did too. I was like, Oh dude, let's, let's like, so we can, we're going to play a fuck ton of halo infinite. So let's play a fuck ton of MCC, just fuck around in custom games browser. And then you can't do custom games. I mean, you can, I guess in infinite, but it's really bare bones. You can't obviously can't do forge. Um, and then the co-op campaign, which is probably my favorite part, favorite part of Halo as a series, is not there, and it's not going. It keeps getting delayed. Which I mean, I get it. I mean, COVID is obviously fucking people over. I totally, I am totally understanding. You can game design from home. I yeah. don't know what that is. <laughs> well, I, I, you, I guess you could. I imagine there's some restructuring you would have to do, but it is, it is an industry that's more work from home friendly than like yeah. I don't know a restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> you just here's your tea. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Um, yes, uh, I, I'm, I have a, I love Halo Infinite. I love the gameplay loop of Halo Infinite, but I just wish that I, I mean, I, I, two maps for season two, dude, Fortnite. I'm just going to say it. And I hate, I hate making this, this, <laughs> this parallel. I played a lot of Fortnite in 2017 to 2018. They were pumping out updates every fucking week. 
and obviously probably much a much I don't know, but probably much bigger company. Rick and, and Morty yeah. Halo when <laughs> what? Rick and Morty Halo when <laughs> yeah, right, exactly <laughs> that's what I'm saying. No, um, but I, obviously probably much bigger company. I know there was there was management hell allegedly at at three four three. Totally get that, and I but like there there has to be a workflow issue if for a, a company like Epic Games can pump out weekly up like oh, basically weekly updates to Fortnite, and a company like three four three that is backed by Microsoft can't 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 up- not even user content every week that has like skins or something right. in it like that either right you know? and the, the only thing that's like rotating weekly is the cash shop which is like okay if i want to be a whale i can spend the money i mean It'd i be have a halo infinite battle pass whale right yeah i mean, <laughs> totally crash the halo <laughs> infinite uh, user economy i i mean i've bought like i think maybe five things on the shop ever like and uh, uh, so the thing that they're updating weekly, I'm not even using, you know, because I mean, I'm not gonna. It's, it's we didn't bu- you didn't download the game to buy stuff. Exactly. It's not why you decided to play the game. Right. I think there's a massive disconnect between the people actually developing like the game, quote unquote, like everything surrounding like gameplay and like um all, all of that style of direction, and then the people who are in charge of like platforming and like marketing the game. Yeah. You know, I, I have a funny feeling that those people, like, first of all, whoever designs their infrastructure sucks because they, they, every time a new Halo game gets released, it always just is broken. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, whoever's QAing, mm-hmm. whoever's QAing that is like the worst in the business. Like, yeah. The Master Chief Collection launching was genuinely the most. I know I said the word unacceptable a few times beforehand. The way the Master Chief Collection launched is just genuinely the most unacceptable state of a game I've ever seen I get agree. launched. I you agree. couldn't even play it. You couldn't even load a game. I don't know how anyone. Lo- it, it was not a server issue either because I, I when I, I initially downloaded the game and I tried finding a game, I was like, oh, maybe the servers are broken. I'll wait a day. And then a day and I was like, maybe this game is just still so popular that it's still crashing. And then like two or three days go by and you still can't load into a game. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you load that file up knowing that it needs to get released tomorrow and go, yeah, yeah this is okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, let's push I, this out. Dude, I played I played uh fucking MCC. Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't have an Xbox. Evan and my buddy Evan, same guy, I had an Xbox, uh an Xbox One. And I was so hyped, dude. I was like, I'm happy because I was, I was kind of like, you no, know, at, at the time I was kind of worried that they were going to keep, you know, they, they might remake like Halo 1, 2, and 3. You know, they did Anniversary. They ended up doing Halo 2 Anniversary for MCC. But I was like, oh, they might just, re- you know, remake them. But the original forms are really important to have. Um, and I was kind of like, ah, that sucks if they're going to leave in the last generation. And clearly they didn't. Um, and I was like, I was really hyped about it. And then we tried playing and I actually, me and Evan and I didn't really have much of an issue getting into games. We were split screen and mm. we didn't really have much of an issue. I mean, it was like, it's definitely ma- much faster now, even with the much smaller player count, but we really, it was like max 10 minutes to get into a game. And I think that happened like once or twice and we, we played for like a whole day. Yeah. We didn't have much I, don't of know, I think I had a, a, a problem where I was struggling to even load into like campaign. Like really? I think it was like that bad where like I I don't know and I know other people that had the same experience too where like the game just straight up didn't work yeah. for like a month or two. Yeah. I I I I was not an Xbox. I mean I sorry, I was an Xbox 360 kid and that next generation I was a, I was I'd much more prefer the PS4. I didn't have an Xbox one until much until like 2 years ago. Um I just have it for collector's sake not even to use it. Um but yeah, I, man the few times I, I was able to actually play it again in like full HD 60 FPS, it was awesome. Um, but I do remember, I, you, now that you're mentioning that, I do remember having some issue with campaign. But it, regardless, just stuff wouldn't load. Like, again, the yeah. servers were broken. You could, I, from my personal experience, you could not find a game. And I'm not exaggerating for like a month or two. Like, you just could yeah. not yeah. load into a game. Yeah. Um, Campaign would work sometimes, but like it would just crash and like it, it was it would struggle. Like it, I struggled to complete the campaign in full just yeah. with the thing. Like, they, they completely overhauled it. Like I'll give them credit now. Like it's it, honestly kind of impressive how they've built it out to this point. Again, I still don't think that excuses anything they did before, but like I love the system of 
Uh, oh god, it, this is pissing me off too. Just opposing it to like Halo Infinite because Halo Infinite sucks the way that there's all of the, all of this content that we know is there that's just not in the menus, and then you have to search for each thing individually on its mm-hmm. own. Yet comparatively, the Master Chief Collection has one of the best matchmaking systems in all of video games, where like you have all of the options that you want. Like the idea of like picking any different Halo game and loading into it um in one major queue of matchmaking is such a cool idea to me yeah and the fact that it now works perfectly with like custom games browsers on the side and everything is just uh i, I don't know that that is really cool to me dude i i want i i actually would really like to hear your opinion uh, opinion on this so season seven of mcc came with it's a, a few extra uh armors oh yeah i'm familiar okay so i'll just say so you, I, I liked them for the sake of customization. I wasn't overtly. I know a lot of people, friends of mine, most of my friends of mine were very against using them. And they would put on the classic thing. And I totally get that because you want to kind of keep that classic feel. But I, I was like, to me, it doesn't really bother me that much if I'm playing fucking Jenga. I don't really care if someone's yeah. wearing, has like a fur coat. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, there's a few of the skins that I was like, I this actually would add to my 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 Spartan more than anything. I have a ridiculous looking Spartan afterwards. I have like the dinosaur feet and like yeah, the yeah. the witch doctor mask. Is it, it's it's ridiculous. So I just you, went off crazy you, on it. You liked it. You liked the the update. I think it's a little silly, but I like stuff that is silly and absurd. Yeah, I yeah. I just like not taking life or that much seriously yeah, yeah. so it, it's it's for me it was whatever um i hear both sides of the argument and i think for a legacy game it makes sense to have that option that toggle um which they did not have when they launched that season so um right i mean i don't know i don't i don't know how to feel about that i i, I don't have an issue with those wacky armor designs they put out i thought they were fun mm-hmm. and, and silly and it didn't ruin anything for me um but i do think that like in the newer games I don't know if I care for some of the armor designs and options that they have. Like, so some of it just looks kind of lame. Like I still, to this day, can't find a shoulder piece that like looks cool without like finding and buying an entire armor set in the store. Yeah. Yeah. An infinite. It's a little upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. I dude, I was so excited when I saw the fracture 10, right event announcement. And I saw cause like I have a meme in all of my, and I like every game I play, if I, if there's any sort of character customization, I, I, I go with a ninja just cause I, I, I watched Naruto growing up. It's just, it's like a meme that I've just continued and I'm like, Oh, that's sick. It's like a samurai close enough. Would you and, buy a Naruto run emote for Halo yes, Infinite? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Did you put um, on cat ears and not in Naruto run dude, through a big team battle okay, <laughs> with an energy have, sword? Dude, yeah, <laughs> no, dude, it's unfortunate because I didn't know this was before, like, I don't, I don't, maybe I just wasn't privy to it, but the, like, there's no cross core customization, which to me is oh, yeah. Yeah. still so fucking supposedly stupid. I've heard they're phasing yeah, they're that out. There. I don't yeah. know how that works though. Yeah, like it's, it's going to be know. weird. Uh, but a fracture Tenrai, I was like, dude, that's so hype. Like my favorite, my favorite armor in all of halo is Mark five. And I'm like, I'm throwing Mark five on like a, like a cool, like suit of uh, like a samurai armor. And maybe you have like some sort of like, uh, like fur or something around. I'm like, that looks so rad in my head. And then you just can't, you just yeah. can't. And so now I'm just like a, a Mark five, Mark five Zeta, which is just like a hamburger Mark five. I'm also Mark five, Mark five yeah. Zeta right now. Yeah. Yeah. And I have fucking cat ears and, uh, and, 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 and well, I'm, I'm without the cat arms. ears, but I hear you. Dude, the, the cat ears. <laughs> I, I saw that and I'm like, that's fucking goofy. I am buying that and I bought it immediately. I was like, yeah, there's no shot. I'm, I'm it it is a that. little goofy. I, I, I was I was considering buying it just again for the sake of it looks kind of ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, that's um, why I bought it. Yeah. Like that that was just, yeah. <laughs> it, no, Welcome to the Halo podcast. Yeah, right. I, at this point, dude, I, that is one thing. I'm, I'm, I could talk about Halo again at yeah. length. I could. This I, could be a five-hour podcast of purely about Halo-related content, and I could carry the conversation. I think that. I mean, I don't know. I, 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 I have very varied opinions on every on all of the, you know, MCC and and Infinite. But, um, I'm trying to find a an, a natural segue to the next topic, which I don't know what that would even be. Well, Master Chief just. Master Chief just 
Um, st- Halo, same topic. <laughs> Halo oranges. Do you guys like fruits at all? I no. I'm a. I'm a big. I'm a. You like apples, Zach? Actually, I'm a big fan of apples. Yes. Okay. Good. Apples, I have a friend yeah. that doesn't like apples. Yeah, oh, my up does not like apples. Redacted, redacted. redacted. Yeah, my redacted. friend, I can't, my yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, my Wait, redacted. Yeah, uh, he he does not like apples. Tell me, that's not like you. You can like you can press it's charges a little for insane. that. Right? I feel like I feel like though I would want to <laughs> learn more about the specifics. You- you can't. Why that's, they don't like apples? That's because the there's like a hundred different type of apples. You get in them a red delicious or something that Dude. mealy as fuck. <laughs> Dude, red so- delicious apples, gross. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, red delicious are the worst apples. For you sure. need like a. You need like a like a gala. You need like a <laughs> like, Granny know, Smith. Gala sounds yeah. like a slur. I don't even know what that is. You I, need a Fuji. You ever had one of those big honey crisps? Like the size of your fucking head. You guys are saying words I don't understand. I'm I I, I just eat apple. <laughs> That's all I do. <laughs> I just eat apple. You eat I, what, dude? A, asshole. I so I um uh. <laughs> <laughs> true. Um, so um, he doesn't like apple, right? Which is automatic. Like just like red flag. Like don't be around that guy, right? He also doesn't like apple sauce or apple Why? pie. Well, we don't have yeah, to. Yeah, I actually, I'm, no, I'm, I'm this, this man's, <laughs> I'm this man's antithesis. So I, I have this weird character trait about me. Here's the let's go around and, and tell everyone a fun fact about themselves moment. Yeah. Um, I actually don't like cake. Like I'm like pretty anti cake. Wow. I'm not a. Have you had a gala cake though? What is a gala? Actually, what the fuck we're is actually, a gala? actually, we're built. Actually, I'm, I'm building to a, a, a maybe okay, a okay. gala, a gala cake. Uh, surprisingly enough, that might fit well into this conversation. Um, <clears throat> I like some cakes as I've gotten older. The more denser, moister, perhaps even moosier cakes I've enjoyed, but just like a straight like box cake is just never my thing. And even like some of the premium cakes, I'm like eh about. But for my the whole point about this is my bir- for my birthday every year. I get an apple pie because apple is like one of my favorite flavors. That like bang. apple pie yeah. filling thing is one of my favorite flavors. But to answer your question about a gala cake, um, one time my my mother commissioned from like an artisan baker a apple pie filling filled cake. So apple pie filling filled cake. What the? Fuck? It was like a. It was like the. She did like a because I also like coffee cake a lot. So like the cake base was like coffee a coffee cake, cake type is, thing. Oh, that could and be it was really like good. layered with like apple pie filling, and that was my birthday cake. Apple pie yeah. filling. Wait, what that is apple? Really... Isn't that just apple? What am I? Am yeah, I it dumb? is apple, but it's you know perhaps reduced down in the brown sugar cinnamon slurry, oh. and perhaps oh. and it was more of a minced apple than a gotcha. than a okay. full sliced. That yeah. made my brain melt. I was like, I was like, what is in? My, okay, that makes more sense now. Right. Well, so, what is what is gala? What is gala? I got. I got to be honest. To this? Oh, no, before before I, wish I, I had, I wish I had like a like a um, like a Joe Mama response to what is gala, <laughs> but I'm oh, not smart there. enough to think of anything. There's, something there, there's there. definitely something there. It's just a type of apple, but um, I hate pie crust. I like pie fillings. Fair. Like, but I just, well, there's so I little the the pie crust the filling ratio is. Yeah, but I still eat around the pie crust. It's kind of like a whole. I remember um, in college, some of my f- f- dorm mates wanted to make me an apple pie because I like apple and I don't really, I didn't really eat that much cake. And so I'm like, no, no, I, I don't actually want a pie. I'll just, we all went apple picking. And I'll like, I'll just, literally, I will just eat the apples. And they're like, no, no, we'll make you a pie. We'll make you a pie. And they got angry. I like the at idea me. of you refusing a pie. You push back on the pie, and these the people fuck, no, no hold you pie. down no and the pie. It literally, it literally, I could call my roommate at, from this time and be like, "Hey, do you remember when you guys force fed me an apple pie?" And um, they didn't like hold me down and force feed it, but like they baked it to it me. Funny, ba- baked it for me, and I ate the the filling and didn't eat the crust at all. And they got so angry with me. Like a bunch of people on floor were like, what a jackass. And I'm like, it's my birthday, asshole. It's my fucking birthday. <laughs> it, it, it's a little it's a little rude to insult the birthday boy for sure. That is true. That is true. The birthday boy. Um, I'm glad finally someone is on my side. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. No, dude. dude. You can't you can't be. You're lucky it was that. your birthday. Yeah. This was a, an average Wednesday. I don't know. I'd have to reevaluate my position. Yeah. You mean if we all went apple picking and on that day they were like, oh, Sean, we'll make you your own pie. And I said, no, I don't want you to make me my own pie. And they still made it. I would still be in the wrong. 
because it's not my birthday. Yes. I just love this scenario of you being like, please don't make me a pie. Like, we will make you a pie. Like, this is an oddly specific scenario. Um, I thought it was like a dream. <laughs> like, like, this is are, fucking insane. Are we, uh, are we Lattice fans or the other one? The, um, the Crumble. The Crumble. Yeah, are we, yeah, are we so Lattice I, or Crumble? I have, I have to say, Lattice is the easiest to eat around, and I just don't like the crust. So... Yeah, Lattice but I feel like the crumble yeah. kind of melts and dissolves and solidifies into its own thing that I feel like tastes better and textually is superior than a lattice crust. But mm-hmm. the lattice looks pretty. So. It does look pretty. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a lattice guy myself, I must say. I'm definitely a lattice guy. The crumbly bangs. Iceberg or Romaine? <laughs> Are you on team hashtag lattice or team hashtag crumble? Wait, wait can we just, just pause? What the fuck did you just say, Sean? What does that mean? What did you just say? You said you're a lattice guy, and I said iceberg or romaine lettuce. That's so stupid. (laughs) That's so fucking dumb. Okay, so I think that's this is going to be the last, the last, the first and last episode with Sean here. That's crazy, Uh actually. Um, what were you saying? Right before that, Uh, that threw me off so hard. That threw Um, me off so hard. I think we were talking about. um, We were talking about. This whole conversation was revolving around (laughs) Kayla apples. But is it Gala or Kayla? Gala, G A L A. Gala. I think it's also pronounced Gala. I thought the proper pronunciation was Gala, but I was pretty sure it's Gala. I was you pretty sure it's Gala too, but people definitely say Gala. Yeah, there's Red Delicious, Yellow Delicious, Golden Delicious, uh, Granny Smith. Gala, we're do right Apple right. Apple tier list. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, that's the, I, that's, honestly, so the first half of this podcast is Halo Infinite. So we lost like ninety percent of your audience, yeah. and then the second half yeah. purely revolves around Just, ranking apples, and then we've lost all of those people yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I've I gotta say I've never my my sometimes you know I get a bag of apples. I don't even question what they no, are. I, just I eat literally them. Haley I and I. Know. Haley and I have had this discussion before. I get my own apples because Haley likes Red Delicious. I fucking, I cannot eat Red Delicious. If they're, I will literally. Red Delicious is the worst type of apple to be. I will literally let those rot before I eat them. And then I'm like, fuck, I have to eat them now. Uh, But uh, so I buy my, I buy Granny Smith and she buys uh, Red Delicious. I'm also a Granny Smith fan. I think. You would have to if, if if you had red delicious apples. This is a now a life hack podcast. If you had red delicious apples and they were going bad, I would pr- reduce it down into an apple sauce or some kind of apple because it's the texture of the red delicious apple that's disgusting. Yeah. It's a yeah. mealy. So yeah, yeah. Mealy, is that the one? Is that the one you're talking about? That, yeah, the mushy one, right? It's not like the big crunchy yes. bitch. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I hate those too. I, I yeah. eat it. I just those are the I, least I, favorite I will, all I will avoid it at all costs. Who, but who would like favor that over something else, though? That's such a weird uh, thing. Talk to this guy. Yeah. Not worth having an argument. I'll tell you, it's not worth having an argument over. <laughs> Imagine getting a divorce over red delicious apples. <laughs> I have. Imagine a scene from Mar- Marriage Story where like Adam Driver's punching the wall, but he's like, I don't want to eat your fucking Look, red delicious that's, apples. That's the movie where he like does that really incredible acting scene but it's also like a massive meme that's the one you're talking yeah, about yeah yeah i've yeah. never actually watched the movie but i've definitely seen the scene yeah, because yeah. it was memed so yeah, hard it memed really yeah hard. It's, it's crazy how in that movie there the lightsaber split in three yeah it was actually it, really I feel like cool. that was not canon at all <laughs> oh was was that <laughs> I, I forgot i think i'm getting my i think i got my movies mixed up wasn't ray uh his wife or something and yeah, that's right. it was a domestic right. violence scene right, yeah. and then one, lightsaber battling and yeah. then one of them disappeared at the end or something yeah it was really weird uh-huh. Just, I just love so. I don't know if you are aware, Zach. Sean has ADHD. Sorry, dude. HIPAA violation right there. <laughs> I have uh, what I I've You're never been diagnosed. Yeah, I, I guess I've never been diagnosed for it. But I assume I was that I have, as a kid, but I stopped taking medication for it. I assume that I have the same. But uh, Sean and I kind of just work off of word association, like only. That's why the, like the lattice joke, and that's why the Adam Driver joke. They were just like immediate, like you know exactly what he's talking about. You just have to get the fuck away. So that you will, that will be that will be a pattern that we will be you know, seeing. I always hate. I always say, I'm I'm cringe. I always hate. I'm cringe. I'm cringe. I, well, when I was <laughs> when, when I was doing YouTube, when I was doing Cagdo, I would always like I'd hate listening to myself talk about the future because I was so I didn't know what actually was going to happen. I think it's just a weird personal thing that I have an issue with. I have I'm, I'm the opposite. When I was when I was younger and I would make content, I would constantly talk about like 
shit in the future or like even worse like political thoughts oh, <laughs> random stuff like that yeah. or 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 like my sense of humor was just not like cool yeah. um on a few different levels yeah. interpret that how you want to yeah um and then looking back on all of that stuff i'm like man uh how wrong was i it's very interesting i had i had an idea where i was gonna like and i don't know if this is even a good idea but i'll just bounce it off you guys so this was like maybe last year I, because I, I have ideas for content and I just never go through with it. I mean, it, oh, yeah, one, one yeah. for 30,000 right here. But um, I had an idea where I would just kind of wring out my dirty laundry and be like, yeah, I kind of used to be a dickhead and I used to say some stupid shit. But like if and if I ever have some, any sort of following, I would like th- them to know that what these, I thought about, these uh, like off. I, I've off had similar court. thoughts, too. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I don't but, know. If- yeah. All right, go. Action. action. <laughs> I said <it. laughs> Okay, you want to just do it in a list? Um, yeah, I don't know. I've, ha- I've had similar thoughts, too, where, like, certainly a lot of the stuff I said online when I was younger is, like, in- incredibly, like, just fucked up and not yeah, okay and yeah. stuff I just don't agree with now. Whether it be, like, that was just offensive or more of, like, I just don't agree with that or, like, you know, e- e- in either direction. Um, and I thought about that, too. Like, it would probably be better and serve me better in the future if i just like was in front of that and like yeah. owned up to it yeah but also it's like what a fun piece of content idea of like hey you don't know me no one ever watches like i don't have an audience or anything right. but let me tell you everything messed up that i did right off the right. bat you know what i mean like it yeah. just doesn't make sense yeah, like it, it, oh, it, it, i'm not gonna watch is, this guy his first piece of content was let me tell you how awful i am yeah, yeah. and the thing is like there's there are because i don't i get like weird youtube algorithmic um like suggestions and like i'll get like a video that's like one million views and it's like the title is i have no friends or whatever and i'm like oh you know i mean like i have friends but like i get the concept of that video it's the person like kind of reaching out to the internet and the internet like responds back but i feel like if i ever made a video it would have to literally be like hey i've said some really fuck shit yeah. Um, yeah. Up in. Yeah. and then it would be a million views but then i would have like people outside the door like throwing yeah. rocks at my window yeah, yeah. I, I think I, you'd have people outside your door throwing rocks at the window yeah. <laughs> not, not from 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 one quick youtube video yeah. if you hit from it forever <laughs> there's got to be some kind of like way to play it like it's like a like like you're like you're dating someone right like you don't just lead off the bat like hey uh, like, oh. like you don't hit up someone at like a bar being like, Hey, like these, these are all of my problems. Right. Like, yeah, like that's not, that's in. not, but, yeah. but like you, but you do have to be upfront about it and honest about it. And like, I don't know, that's just relationships with humans. Like, I think it's, yeah. there's, there's, there's an interesting dance that yeah. needs to be worked there. I had, I, I want to hear, I, this is thematically my idea and it's, it's, I think it's a pretty funny idea. Um, it was a video. It was, it was a series. It would be a series called talking shit. And I would be sitting on the toilet with my pants down with this mic in my hand. Just being not, like, no. I immediately know I should tell you. Just being, like, <laughs> a friend of yours. just being like, um, uh, you know, uh, when I was that, what 13, I had a, I had a video series where I said bad words that I would not say now. And, uh, Obviously, that did not. <laughs> I didn't do see, it see, clearly. See, the thing but, is, like that would that would honestly be very funny as a parody. But the problem no, is, dude, you I'm the original. Pay. I'm the OG. I'm no, the OG but that's the thing. Like, it would be it would be hilarious if you were like like doing the apology videos. Like the title would be like I fucked up. And then it'd be like shit. I just don't think I just don't think it's a good omen. I just don't think it's, it's not, a good look. No, I'm gonna not. start my career with an apology <laughs> it's video. It's, it's a very like bad like, omen. like it's all you're already starting off so far <laughs> downhill is to yeah. do that thing where it's like black and white and you have to be like I I I I don't know what to say. I'm so sad. You're like that is how it starts. Like I don't think any successful career has started <laughs> you with gotta like start with the uh, I gotta the, apologize for everything. Yeah. You look at the camera, yeah. you go <sighs> I never thought I have to have make this video or something. You know, the, the, the <laughs> classic like, apology. What was, that, what was that video all the celebrities did? Uh, was it for COVID? Where it's like all in black and white, and it was oh, like the, the one. celebrities. Maybe was, all the celebrities were like crying. I forget what that was about, but like, everyone made. They were fun singing of a song, it. right? It was, it was COVID. They were singing uh, some. Yes, yeah. they were singing yeah. Imagine. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yes. 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 Very funny. Yeah. It's a very funny video. Or, right. Exactly. Yeah. Or, yeah. It just, needs to be, it just needs to be different cuts of yourself in black and white singing Imagine. And just for like three minutes, the full song, like the yeah, full song yeah, all the way through. Yeah. And then at the very end, it's just like, 
I want to apologize for saying the N word back in 2013. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No, it's my, my thought process with it though was more like, and I'm, I'm going to like kind of fuck myself saying this if anything ever does come of anything, but um, like in, you know, in like 10 years, if I have a following, that my Discord, or not my, I guess my, I've been pretty clean since I got Discord, but like my, yep. I don't know, kick logs from 2015 or 2014 were somehow leaked. I'd be like, like, chill. Yeah, <laughs> but, like, to be, to be honest, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, to be honest, it, it, it would just be another white guy in that kind of thing. Like, it you just did a, 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 a Joji filthy Frank arc where, like, Dude. You, you made the most vile content on the internet, and now you're getting, like, stand by, like, 13-year-old white girls on Twitter. Yeah, or you now a- you're, like, saving squirrels. Uh, yeah, as I true, true, true. Were you aware, Zach, that... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm remember. never aware of anything, by the way. Okay, so like a I'm year- the most oblivious, yeah. dumbass, just uh, un Cretan. Yeah, Cretan. Okay, what does Cretan is Cretan? What does Cretan mean? Cretan's like a like a like a filthy slug ruggy, uh, like a like a <laughs> Cretan is is a, <laughs> waiting for like, like waiting a for you to slip over. up and say something you shouldn't. <laughs> a slug ruggy. I can do the apology video again right after this. <laughs> yeah. No, a Cretan is just another thing of being like a like a oh degenerate, a yeah. degenerate. Yeah. What if you had an entire account where you'd apologize and at the very end say something fucked up? So oh, the and next then video apologize is in like, the next video. <laughs> that would be good. That would be a good series. Like, it's just a compounding <laughs> like. Um. What was I saying? Oh, were you aware that last? Oh, sorry, I I, I, I forgot your the, the Cretan thing. Um, yeah, Cretan. last year, maybe maybe two years ago, TikTokers were trying to uh, cancel Joji because they f- figured out that he was filthy Frank. Yeah. Fucking yeah. hilarious. I saw this on Twitter and not TikTok, but yeah, it's very funny. Fucking um, hilarious. I mean, I get it. There's like a certain arc you take as like a fan of something where it's like, oh, I know a little bit about this thing, sort of self understanding. Okay, I know a little bit about their lives, and then like if you really into the artist eventually just deep dive into everything and it was it bound takes, to happen at some yeah it only like takes people long. still don't know i still feel i still hear about people discovering this about joji mm-hmm. to this day mm-hmm. i don't know well i mean i think like i think it was around the same time they were trying to cancel eminem for what he was saying back in like 2004 and i'm like yeah wrong guy to go after he doesn't really give a fuck at this point it's been like 18 years I mean, he's he's apologized for it he not has, that it was ever right in the, not that it was ever right in the first place but well, yeah, yeah I mean, the, the thing is, is like it, it's hard too, because like obviously they have a right to be upset, and it's sure. they should be upset. But it's also the case that it doesn't do anything, and so it's hard to it's hard like to, yeah. like you give that you give it the empathy and the compassion of like yeah, it's, it is fucked up that he said this or whatever. But I I don't like I, my Twitter is very like if I see something even remotely political, I just unfollow or like yeah. don't show me this or that's what I do with YouTube, too, because yeah. at this point, it's like it's more distractionary. I will get lost on like a Chapo Trap House like subreddit or something mm. eventually, like give me an hour I, and I'll be. I literally just tweeted today that I forget what it was verbatim, but it was like Twitter is the worst yeah. place to get caught up in other people's opinions because it really just is. Yeah. I, I've, been, I've been having a lot of uh, conversations with people regarding I don't want to use the word cancel culture because that's definitely like a red flag. Someone complaining yeah. about cancel culture is a red flag for like, oh, you're insecure about yeah. something yeah. for sure. Yeah. But like, um, you know, I've been having conversations with people a lot about this because I feel like some of the music I've been listening to that comes out has been revolving around of this uh, revolving around a lot of these themes but like there's a there's a line that i'm not quite sure where i sit on in between like accepting people for growing and like learning and understanding and trying to change themselves to be better but then also like holding people accountable and like not putting mm-hmm. like really shitty people up on pedestals and you know obviously there's extremes on either side where it's like yeah very clearly don't support this like that's incredibly yeah. fucked up obviously yeah. not and then there's the other side of it too where it's like okay you're obviously taking this thing too far yeah but like a lot of this lays in like kind of a gray area where it's like yeah but like where do we kind of stand with like you know allowing people to like be themselves and like grow and develop as people well well also like i tend to view it as like i mean i've seen like twitch plays pokemon and i tend to view like twitter <laughs> what what happened in twitch plays pokemon <laughs> what did i miss out on no, no, connection oh, sorry, break. What, I, what i mean by that is like there's this like I you. you 
I could be watching and I'm like, oh, I actually really want him to go left first. But uh, it doesn't matter how much I spam left. The ma like the Twitch will tell him to go up left, right or whatever. And so I, 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 I tend to feel like I, I have a lot of I've been over the past year. I've been like really. Um, like reevaluating my own like mental energy and what I can put that to. And I just I just do not have it to like make sure that a celebrity that I like <laughs> isn't racist like it's just like yeah. because because i can't change that in the sense that like uh okay so i stop i don't know i'm just gonna say bill burr because i like bill burr as a comedian but like sure, I, sure. I don't even buy his tickets because i don't have money like it just like there's <laughs> nothing it's, it's just like I, I i like the way to make things better is to be nicer to the people around you and like sure if like a friend of mine or if i if i get called out like it, it's important to be like Oh yeah, that is fucked up. But like, that's yeah. kind of like the best you can do. I, I do think it's important to take accountability for yourself first and foremost. I think there's a lot of really good, um, you know, the points that you made there about that. About like, you know, there's all, you, you can't change. I mean, obviously, make your opinion be heard. Like feedback and public support does change things. I don't want to pretend like it doesn't. Yeah. But at the same time, too, you can't get yourself personally invested in those things. You can only control what's in your like close vicinity and everyone has the ability to like make an impact like day to day, but like holding yourself accountable for stuff like that too, is also like super important. I feel like most people think that they're not the problem. (laughs) You know, most people think that they're not the problem until like they're confronted with the idea of them being a problem. And then they get very defensive. Um, There's a comedian. I forget who it was. It may have been Shane Gillis. I don't know, but he had this whole bit that I saw on like a TikTok clip or something where he was like, being racist. Isn't like a thing that you are. It's a thing that you do. It's like, like you could just not, you could be not be racist for like a whole time. And then all of a sudden, like, yeah. There was a more comedic bit to it, but I yeah. thought it was a really, a really uh, interesting bit that he had. Um, yeah, I, I, it's there's like levels to it to me. I don't like my. I, I don't know. keep talking about cancel culture, and then we, you know that <laughs> ten years from now we're like gonna three white us. guys got in his Discord call yeah. and started talking <laughs> about cancel culture. Yeah, no, so that's that's why I'm like I'm like weird about talking about it, but my I I. I don't like when a uh, uh, a creator is canceled for something that they watched yeah. like ten years ago. If they, like if they like watched a certain YouTuber that was a bit edgy, like a filthy Frank, and then like oh, you're saying if someone just simply watched or consumed another fuck? person, <laughs> you saw that? <laughs> I did see that. What yeah. the hell? What the fuck? That's a that's like a big at look at those big mosquitoes. Dude, bees, yeah. are try, bees are trying to cancel you right now, dude. Holy shit! Real yeah, dude, that's, that's a sign. I, I'm I'm that's what the hell? But, but you're just saying that, like someone's trying to like cancel someone over like the content that they consumed. Yeah, it, it, it's like, especially like, years and years ago. It's it just annoys the shit out of me. I mean, well, I, I think I, mean, I, I think there is definitely like I think there is. I personally feel like there are better ways to change people's minds than to be like. I mean, no, not, I don't want to say it like that because I think it's important. I do think it is legitimately important. Like if you're on Twitter and someone's like, Hey, we should all vote for X. And someone's like, well, actually, uh, I have these like logs that they say the N word a lot, you know, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. and then, then I think it's important to air that out. Um, I, I think it's also important to be like, I don't, cause like this kind of thing happened with like Bernie. And I, I think it's a big double-edged sword that I don't think a lot of people don't really pay attention to that I, I get worried about is, and not cancel culture, but I mean, like, specifically, I, I mean, I think I, I think that's, in general, like, negative opinions can be weaponized, and I just get really uh, cautious if someone tells me anything, like, particularly negative about someone, unless I already agree with that, obviously. I'm, I'm, I'm literally about to start, like, I don't know, it's not necessarily political opinions, because I follow people on Twitter that I like politically and it's fine i enjoy it and i see stuff all the time that i disagree with and i'm fine and i can handle it but twitter's becoming like an increasingly like annoying place to be with like people on both even people i agree with i'm pissed oh, off yeah. these days mm-hmm. like people mm-hmm. like that like are like representing ideas that i support that are just assholes about it or just are like yeah. right in the most wrong way possible where I'm like, I just can't like, I just would rather be 
going for a walk <laughs> you yeah. know what i mean yeah. but somehow i'm still doom scrolling twitter anyways mm. I, it's a problem well that's, that's the thing what, what's really important is like yes sure like retweet like being the million three tweeter of like a pro robot <laughs> but, but like sure that like sh- sure that could help but like i'm also i'm not going to the sh- I'm just not not that I don't want to or whatever. I've been to it. I actually I did go to like a few protests early on in like 2019 or 2020, but I'm not going to that now. Just as a matter of fact, and that's really where it gets won. So like if I see protesters on Twitter being like, uh, "This guy's an asshole," I'll like like it or retweet it. But if if I know someone I went to school with is just being like, "Fuck these people," like I'm not really gonna retweet mm. that or mm. anything like that because I don't know. I don't feel like stuff like that really matters. I feel like if people are actively acting on it, it matters. But I don't know. I just I get so uh, disillusioned because I know I'm not doing anything. Yeah. Hello. I'm be- I'm becoming de- decreasingly likely to just like. <laughs> outspokenly Oops. talk about like politics <laughs> yeah, too. You can find old he's Do your fucking mic with that shit. Wait, 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 Sean, you that? pussy. Mom, mom girlfriend, my... sister. No, that's Haley, my girlfriend. And this is my cat. Hi, Haley. Everyone, yeah. everyone in everyone in chat say hi to Haley. There's right. no chat here, but right. everyone in the comments yeah, say hi. Right now. <laughs> that's Haley, right? <laughs> that's, that's, we're that's, that's... live on we're live on chatterbait.xxx. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was uh, saying that I'm feeling decreasingly likely to like verbally talk about like my political opinions in a public space like this, not because I don't have them. I, I literally help work on the like production team volunteer for like the political like candidate that I supported last election. Yeah. It's public yeah. information. You can find it on my website, but like I'm not going to like talk about it. I also protested a few things in the last year as well, too. But like, I don't know. Again, going back and like consuming a lot of my old content, I'm like, man, I did not know what the fuck I was talking about mm-hmm. like at all. Mm-hmm. And it makes me realize I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about now either. I, I'm just some dude. <laughs> like, oh, no, I, 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 I like to make people laugh and um, I like to think I'm not stupid and smart enough to make a good point here and there. But like, I'm, I'm I don't pretend to have the answers to these things anymore. Yeah. Oh no, I'm I'm actually a genius. I have all the answers. Yeah, that's but, true, actually. Um, you, ever watch well, the, you know who Brandon Wardell is? No, he's a, he's a comedian. He has a really funny bit on like why it's hard to have sex as a genius. He's just too smart for sex. <laughs> I, I I recommend the bit. That's that uh, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, Sean. <laughs> Segwaying in, buddy. Um, no, uh, well, I think there was, but there was a guy who worked on like the Bernie campaign. I don't. I think it was like in twenty twenty for the 2020 election that like went kind of haywire where he was making like funny ads for the Bernie campaign or they made one or whatever. And then he did like this whole phone banking thing where he was calling. He somehow got a hold of the Biden call list and started calling Biden supporters and was like trying to convince them to vote for Bernie. And like the live chat was like, please stop. This is really fucked up. <laughs> like you just stole people's phone numbers and are harassing them. And he's like, I did not hear about this story. And I was pretty tuned into the Bernie campaign. Yeah. Let me look at, let me look up his name. Yeah. I, uh, Zachary Marshall. <laughs> just you the whole time. <laughs> um, I, no, I honestly didn't give a shit about, I mean, I'm going to leave it here because I honestly, I'm a dumb fuck when it comes to politics. I mean, I oh, me too. To, yeah. to the point where I follow, uh, I feel like I'm educated, but also I know I'm stupid enough to like, not like yeah. be the guy to talk about that. Yeah. The only uh, political people I follow on Twitter, which is my main social media are people that I like as far as their content goes. Like, uh, you know, not, not so much their political content, but like their features and stuff. Like I have, I follow Hassan. I don't listen to the shit that he says mean. on Twitter. Has, Hassan, Hassan's but, a funny guy. Yeah, yeah. His, yeah, name, his but, name was uh, Matt Orphalia. Orphalia. Ooh. Matt. Is it like uh, o, and is it like an O, like apostrophe. Orphalia. No, it's o R. Less cool. F A L A E. Is that less Irish? Cool. I have no idea. Look it up. Mm. Just make him do I, all I the research. Say, this, 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 this is a. I, I don't know how anyone would ever feel about this ever, but look, I, I'll, I'll, I'll say, I, 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 I've. Um, when the Donald Trump's Twitter was active, that was the funniest Twitter account oh, of all time. Nice. It, was, yeah, it, was, it was very funny. It was, yeah, yeah, it was, it was I, I did not agree with it at all, but like yeah. it was very funny to be like, holy shit, he said that. I don't know who I heard this <laughs> from. I don't know who I heard this from, but there was somebody who said, the only reason I wish Donald Trump was still in office was because his Twitter was such good content. 
It's I, true. You know how like England has like a queen and a king, but they don't well, might do have a queen. shit. They well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Um, th- how they're supposed to have a king or a queen, yeah. but they don't do anything. They're just there to look pretty and to say yeah, stupid yeah. stuff. But then the, the prime minister in parliament does yeah. all the work. Yeah, yeah. It would feed his ego so much, but like we could just name him king, king. and have him do That's really smart. nothing. That's it would really piss a smart. lot of people off. Yeah. I would hate it too. But just give him a Twitter account and just give him the title and don't like allow him to touch anything. Oh, yeah. that, that's great. He's like the icon of America. <laughs> that's such a good idea. That's so cool. No, I, dude. I'm, I think we'd still probably get work. an insurrection. Change we'd probably work, still get dude. an insurrection. I'm not sure. <laughs> no, no, yeah, one. we would. Do, do, do. But here's the thing: we'd build him a castle, but like nowhere where anyone cares in like Nebraska, like just somewhere <laughs> where like no one's like hey, Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah shit, like, Trump Castle, <laughs> Trump Castle, and uh, Gary, Indiana. It's just like no one's gonna. Who who like who would guard that place though? Like who would be the like you know how the like three Stooges? Like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Just slipping and tripping. Dude, I was going way back. Do you remember that guy that almost killed, was it Obama, by just running into the White House? The guy who set this? himself on fire? Oh, no, he no, just no, like, no. The guy who set himself on fire was Trump. What? Go ahead. Yeah, no, but the, the, guy, the guy was protesting. Ben, you're thinking of the guy who was protesting Trump and he set himself on fire. Oh, yeah. But, but Zach is referring to a guy who came, like, he just got into the White House. Like you, just, you would think, okay, so before, before we get too much in this story, you would think, right, if you climbed over the fence and ran on the White House lawn, you would be dead within a minute. That, that would, that's like your perception, right? Or yeah, if not, you like looked, just tackled something. You've been to D.C. before, right, I assume? <laughs> yeah, I live there, near D.C. Like for a while. Yeah. There's like a, like a big y- yard. Yes, and then, yeah. you know, and then there's the, the house, mm-hmm. and there's like a big fence, and they're like, don't fucking touch that fence. Yeah, yeah you would think here, if you weren't up, shot, if you weren't shot, you would think you would be tackled. Like, there's yeah. no way you're even touching the door. Yeah. That's what most people think, right? Guy climbs the way, this is during Obama, I think. Guy climbs the fence runs all the way to the White House lawn. I think he thinks he was maybe he's committing suicide or something. I don't know the story. The, I don't know his intentions of the story, yeah. I mean. But, like, he gets to the door, and he opens it, and the door's unlocked to the White House. And so he runs in, and he thinks, he, he would think he would get tackled the second he opens the door to the White House. He doesn't. He runs all the way down the hall and up the stairs. He's on the second floor of the White House before he finally gets tackled by a female staffer. Big props really? to her. Great really? day on the job. Um, yeah, I think the only reason why she was there, too, was she was, like, going on break or something like that as well, too. I, I don't know. Bro, but, like, the idea of, like, <laughs> the, door wasn't, the door wasn't locked and no one was watching was just very... Uh, that's I don't know. Weird. That's really fucking crazy. Because they, I've, I've, I've been at DC twice when I was yeah. very young. I, mean, I say very young. I was like twelve, thirteen. I was there last and, year. And the, the fence. The, there are people that watch and they're like, "Don't fucking touch that fence. Don't go near that fence." Or at least when yeah, I was there, they're like, "Don't touch that fence." Uh, yeah. When I, I was there in eighth grade, uh, they had like guard, like you could see guards standing yeah, on different. Yeah. I don't know if it was the White House, but like uh, at certain buildings, mm-hmm. there, and they're like just had guns. And uh, the teacher, I was in the, I was in the special needs group because of the ADD thing that pissed me off. That's a whole different story. <laughs> um, I did a few reasons for that, but go ahead. <laughs> but they literally would like. Uh, uh, do, what, do you remember the guidance count? Oh, you did, you weren't there for that long, Ben. No. We went to the same school for like he half went there year. for like for like half a year. But we had a guidance count. The guidance counselor was in charge of the special needs group. I maintain that that was the biggest insult that I've ever received because I was with there was like James. Or I shouldn't say his last name. You can edit that. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, he had like actual schizophrenia. There was a kid with like full autism like just like it, he could not communicate with other people like he had to like write stuff down and then there was me and, and i was just like hold on wait a minute <laughs> this guy jw has been drawing guns in the corner can we fucking talk about that <laughs> anyway anyway they they were they like kept my group like specifically away from those buildings because they thought like I would fuck around and get shot. And I'm like, fair, but yeah, I, I was going to say kid with honestly, the ADD was going to scale the white house lawn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, dude. Oh my God. Speaking of, um, you, what you had just said, Sean tangent, but maybe it'll segue into another topic. So we, we did go to the same middle school for half a year, but we went to the same high school the entire time. Sean and I, Wait, just so you know, it's eleven forty. I didn't know if there was like. A- I, I I just had it until we get bored. 
Like that's that's the time. If you want to fuck off, Sean, you're. If you want to fuck off, Sean, if anybody, yeah, you. I don't care. Anyway, so when I was in, when I was in high school, um, I was in a. It was basically an art class. It was senior year, and I know that you probably know where I'm going with this, Sean. Um, and I did not try. I didn't try senior year at all. Like I. You know, seniors. Yeah, I, I don't I didn't know if try I, you, all of high school. It was a miracle. Yeah, I, I even made it through. Made it through. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I I was useless throughout all of high school, uh, all of senior year, and we I, I had this art class, and I was with uh, with a buddy of mine, and uh, I had done like a, it was like a collage, but it was supposed to be like artistic, and I just just threw shit on there, like like nothing and over time like and then i i i i i showed it off and i got an a i got an a minus and then my buddy showed it off and he got a c plus and his was infinitely better and i'm like that's very interesting maybe i'm just like i had more charisma with because i had to present it i was like maybe i have more charisma presenting it and over time i slowly realize holy shit she thinks i am mentally retarded the teacher thinks I'm mentally retarded. Like Kevin from the office. Right. <laughs> I, got, just... <laughs> I got an A plus. I got an yeah. A plus my my the first half of that semester. Second half of that semester, I had it I had an F because she realized I wasn't. <laughs> which is so fucking funny. She she it was like instantaneous because I didn't I I just did everything horribly. I didn't really follow any directions. And we had it, you know. I don't know about how it works when you went to school. I I, I think this is general. There's a few nationwide. different places, yeah. But I think, I think generally, if if you are not able to sit and do the classes, you get A pluses anyway. And I, she was just giving me A, a pluses for everything for the first half. When when I, I guess I I had a, a great ruse up, and I thought I was gonna actually because I saw I had an F, and I was like, fuck, do I have to like take summer school on my senior year? But it, I guess yeah, they averaged the the A, the a plus and the F um, to to a I think I had to see straight C by the end of it. I had a, hilarious. You know what? I had so, a, no, go go no, you can go. You can go. No, I was I was gonna uh talk about my I had a odd high school experience because I moved halfway through high school, right? So I, I've lived like in like eight or nine different places growing up. So like it's just I was all over the place. But I moved from uh Maryland all the way out to uh Arizona midway through high school. And there's a lot of pros and cons to that. Uh a con being well, like a pro and a con for one was I skipped algebra and went to geometry, but then they move you over to a higher level algebra class where I just flunked and they, yeah. they, they put me in remedial class that was not quite special ed, but it was in the special ed building. Yeah. So I knew a few of those, I, you know, I, I knew a few of those people in a similar situation, but I was going to talk about, um, fucking, I had this German class. So like in Maryland, you're supposed to take your like foreign language class towards the end of your high school curriculum. And in Arizona, they want you to take it at the beginning for whatever reason. I, uh, so I already taken like a year or two of high school, get to Arizona. Um, and they're like, well, fuck it. We'll just put you in the end and you'll be with a bunch of freshmen in your senior year in this class. I get to this German class and all these kids are just rambunctious. They're just yelling at each other, just being class clowns all the time. And, um, I'm just in the back on my phone. And this German teacher is like the strictest teacher you've ever seen constantly like taking kids phones away and like yelling at them. And then every time they're just like, what about Zach? He's like right yeah, there yeah. on his phone. And I just phone. would not give a shit. I just barely did anything. There was one time where we were supposed to write an essay in German about like the German population in like a different country or something. And I picked Latvia, but um, I didn't do it at all. <laughs> I, I just straight up, I, I just hmm. didn't do it. I did a bunch of other projects. I speak a little bit of German, but like, I did not do this project. Um, a teacher's going around and I just hear him going F zero, F zero, F zero. And he gives a few people like some actual grades, but you get the point. He's given a lot of people yeah. zeros and just flying. He gets to me and he goes, Zach, where's your paper? And I said, look, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I thought I had it up here. Obviously I didn't send it to myself. Is there any way I can get this to you like tomorrow or something? And he goes, I trust that you did it. And he gives me a hundred percent. And he gives the person next to me a zero. That's and I was like, awesome. I, I was like, I don't, I'm not caring. How did you get away all. with that? Did you, did you actually know, end up doing was, it? No. <laughs> <laughs> was like, we got the hundred. Like, yeah. 
I got a hundred percent of the project I didn't do. That's fucking awesome. Because he just dude. trusted me. That's fucking <laughs> yeah. awesome. Yeah. No, it was it was um again, I did learn a bit from his class. Um and, and again, my 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 grandmother, <laughs> excuse me, my grandmother spoke a bit of German, so it's something I know a little bit about. But like Again, I just was a I was a senior. Everyone else, they was freshmen. I didn't know anyone. They were all like yelling at each other and constantly being rambunctious in their own way, in their own way. And I would just sit in the back, just like on Reddit threads on my phone, like not even giving a shit <laughs> and right. not doing work. Yeah. I didn't do homework at all. It was not yeah. a single day I did homework in high school. So yeah, dude. Hey. I sorry, Sean. You've been trying to say something for so no, long. No, no, Go no. ahead. Do you ever mi- like miss? We had history together, right? Or did we not? Was it was was was- civics? Was that civics? I don't know. She taught us a bunch of stupid ass. But Miss is a whole different story too. She's an awful teacher. But um, she got mad at me. She she um, knew me because I also did not do work in high school. And she said, um, I forget, but she she mentioned like uh, she was like, you know, Miss told me that you don't do any homework, and I just want you to know you will not pass my class if you don't do any homework. And I passed her class with a sixty point four. Oh my and- god, dude. <laughs> So she's she's it was a D minus because an uh, F is 60. And I literally was like, can you sign this for me? And like, I was like, she gave me like the full transcript. And I was like, can you sign this for me? Dude, oh, I no. So for me, I I went to I went to private school up until high school. So I was already and I, I, I realized at the time I was one of those like annoying private school kids. You know what I mean? That are like that, like talk yeah. about how much smarter they are. I was totally like that back when I was like fourteen. Oh yeah, but, I hated Ben. When yeah, oh my up. god, so many good stories. Um, but uh, for my for my freshman and sophomore year, I tried to be the like the like like I have like a stick stuck up my ass. Not like that. I was I wasn't like an uptight dude, but I was like I was very I, I you know I, I did my homework, you know I did whatever. And then junior year, it was like and then senior year is just fucking flatlined i did not do anything in, in senior year it was so great um but i wanted actually uh sean can you tell uh, uh one of the stories about your hatred for me just real quick i just i love hearing them it, um well just the very first one no actually this wouldn't have been the first story because we hung out during the bridge program too but uh freshman um normally at our high school gym class was for freshmen Oh, uh, the point is like so there was gym class and then there was health class because I, I remember andrew always had gym yeah, and never yeah. Had health. yeah he's, that, he's fucked up. yeah. That, that was a whole thing but um so ben and i had like literally from day one so our our school had this bridge program to bridge you from eighth grade into high school uh for a week and then school started and so ben and i we didn't really hang out during much much during bridge we had like one lunch together and then we were in different groups but then from day one, we had gym class together. And I, I think I saw like a Naruto thing because I really like Naruto. And I think he might have I think you might have had like a Naruto. I think I had some mangas or something. Yeah, you might have made a reference or had a manga or something. So I started talking to you and the only jokes he fucking made were like poop jokes. And I was so and nothing's like, changed. Like, nothing's changed. Nothing, Nothing about Naruto. No, every time I had tried to have a conversation, he would turn it into. He talked about fisting a dead horse. Oh my god! Yeah, the the lightning blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The lightning, and I was so pissed that like maybe like a week into school, freshman year, I was like, "You're such an annoying fucking dude. Like you're not even funny." And I'm just like screaming at him. <laughs> and then maybe like two more weeks in the gym, we're still talking. Like yeah. Uh, and then we've been good friends ever since. He, there was a there was a funny time. Where I just kept going like this, like doing like the ooh funny pee pee and vagina little. I kept doing this with my hands, and he would be like, "Stop fucking doing that!" And I just go like this. He would get so mad. <laughs> just like off the nothing's wall. Nothing's changed, I, dude. I Nothing like, has changed. Serious. I was like, "You have no jokes." But I don't. I still don't. Actually, it's kind of crazy yeah. that I don't have any jokes. We- we can we can wrap this up here in a moment, but I do want to say on the topic of bad teachers again, though, that you had opened up my you would unlock the core memory in my mind of my substitute teacher in high school. That was a massive Holocaust denier. Great. Um, yeah. Awesome. Loved Great. her working with yeah. children. At least she knows. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, it was it was in high school. So we were all like old enough to like recognize like, hey, yo, this bitch crazy. Yeah, but like, true. um. 
she was a revolving substitute teacher. So like every now and then it'd be like three times a year you would come in and it'd be like, oh, shoot, we got that sub today. And um, everyone knew exactly what buttons to press with her to get her to talk about the Holocaust. It's not it, she had no filter. I have no clue how this woman kept a job. I don't know why no one ever like sat in on her to like mm. listen to one of her classes and to make sure she was doing OK. She looked like a ghost, some long haired, right. pale white white hair just old mm. woman and like she would just, just try to teach a class for a while and then like kids would like just ask her enough questions about like it would start off being like what about this about history or something i forget the exact chain of events and then it would slowly devolve into like yeah don't you have some like opinions on like world war ii or something and then she would go off and you mm. would not do any work the whole class like the the i was kind of uninvolved in the gamifying of this woman's um, horrible <laughs> conspiracy yeah, theories. Often, yeah. But like, uh, it, it was just, I remember that being the funniest thing as a kid, just like I would walk in and see her in the room and I would just immediately know, like I'm about to listen to like an hour worth Dude. of like Holocaust denial conspiracy theories. But the thing about it, truthfully, is that <laughs> like, uh, that's fucking funny. Right? Oh, it was very funny. It's Even fun, as a kid, I was funny. like, this shit's very funny. Yeah. I was like, it's like I get to watch like a really bad YouTube video almost. Like, yeah. And you like you think I, I like in my at least in my mind, when I first heard it, I was like, oh, it sounds like probably sounds like a grandpa just being like an annoying, you know, just being like, you know, when I was a kid that I know it didn't happen. Like with those when people I was a kid, it was six thousand. <laughs> now it's six million. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Right, exactly. No, it's Thanksgiving. I, I had a friend. <laughs> dude, I had a friend. What was it? Who? What did he say? I, you know who I'm talking about, Sean. He uh, he had a whole opinion on slavery and how nobody actually wanted it to go away. And I'm like, don't know if that's the case, bud. Can't can't confirm or deny. I guess I can't. Guess I can't deny. That sounds a little crazy. And it was always just fun to listen to because it was always just so like fucking far fetched. Yeah, he had this whole thing uh, in Spanish class. Same kid in Spanish class. Um, our teacher was from Venezuela. She was from South America. Mm -hmm. And he had a problem with her calling it South America. And she's like, oh, you know, the United States of America is in North America that shares it with three countries. And then there's a bunch of countries in South America. It's the continent. And he's like, no, this is America. <laughs> and, and she was like, um, this is from Venezuela is saying that. No, no, no. This kid. Okay. No, the kid. Yeah. And, and and but she has no idea how to handle it. I thought she's this, like I, I was talking about ger like German in Germany earlier, and you said you brought up like Venezuela. Venezuela like, yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. this conversation yeah. was going somewhere else. Yeah. So she she's like, I do not know how to handle this because like this is Spanish. Mm -hmm. like, this is a, yeah. Same same class. Some girl asked if Niagara Falls was in South America. Yep. So that's yep. what we are. So working that's with. what we're working with, and that's actually the number one magnet school of America of like 2015 <laughs> or something like that. So that's great. Yeah. So, um, all right. I mean, I guess we can wrap it up here. I don't know how to like wrap something up though. Someone take it apple, away. Apple, orange, banana. Apple, orange, banana. Pick one. Apple. Uh, oh, I have apple. I have banana every day, so I'll just pick banana. I don't have banana. It's banana. Every day. Apple. Yeah. You. Yeah. Yeah. Apple's good. No orange fans here. All right. That's I, good. I do. I, I will tell you that if there's oranges, I'll eat them all in one go. Oh yeah. Same but here. I'm, a, I'm the those, same way. Those little, those little Clementine things can yeah, uh, yeah, fucking yeah. get in my fucking belly, dude. <laughs> All right, I think fucking get all up in here, dude. Those little Clementine bitches, they can get all up in my belly, man. I do have one belly. Like, come on in the belly. Fucking 23. Yeah, dude.